First of all guys, I want to thank Nasty Gaming for helping me with the test and he has a channel, you can check his channel in the description down below. He's a very good player. So guys, for every one of you that want to know if the armor is worth it and want to watch the video, I say that most of the time going without armor is actually a better choice than choosing armor. But I prefer if you stay and watch the video and come to your own conclusions. First of all, we test the 556, which is the commonly used caliber for the security, against the light armor by hitting the chest. That's that's light armor. <laughs> then the same test with heavy armor. And then we test with no armor to see the difference. <gasps> oh my god. What's the point of armor? Then we tried a distance with the 556. This is 170 meters. One shot. Two shots. So three, okay, so three shots, five, five, six. Now you can see that the five, five, six kills in two shots, even with light heavy armor close to medium range. In longer ranges, you can take one more shot. But the thing is, is the slower movement worth it tanking one more shot? It's always up to you to decide, but in my opinion, moving faster from cover to cover, avoiding bullets and reaching an objective faster, we always have the priority over surviving one more shot and being an easy target because you move slower. And now this is the test with the low caliber pistol. This was no armor, now let's go with light armor. And now the final test with the heavy armor. Now with the armor you can tank one more shots from the pistols and also from SMGs. The thing is, SMGs usually have a high rate of fire, so one more shots you won't have an even notice that you tank one more shot since the high rate of fire will make bullets go very fast. And now this is a test with the high caliber weapon. This is without any armor. Yeah. Now with light armor. And now heavy armor. Yeah. Now with high caliber weapons like the FM4, the G3 and the M14, you kill with one shot on the upper torso, always. But if you wear light armor and heavy armor, you can tank one more shot. This is good, but I don't know if the trade with the weight and the movement speed is really worth it, especially if you play competitive firefight skirmish where movement and aiming down sight is everything. I would only recommend for now against high calibers from long ranges and now you're gonna see why. And now let's test the light armor against a bolt action rifle. Light armor one shot. And now against heavy armor. Okay. So I am using the heavy armor right now. Now you can tank one more shot against bolt action rifles. This is good, but if you're a good sniper, you always find a cover in which just your head is exposed. If your chest is exposed, in my opinion, you're not doing a good job as sniping. And if you're the type of sniper or which moves around a lot, that extra weight will slow down your aiming downside and will make you tired, so make your aim even worse. And for a marksman, it's important to have good aim. So yes, 
With heavy armor you can survive one more shot, some people may survive one shot to the chest, but they're also an easier target. And now I want to do a final test using grenades to test the effectiveness of armor against explosives. And then I will stand this little rock right here. That little rock, so I'm going to stand exactly where that rock is on the road. So it's the same distance, and you try to always have it in the same, same like, in the wheel if possible. Okay, perfect. Okay, that didn't kill me. Okay. Now, now Nasty respond with full health to test the distance at which grenade will kill you. Okay. It did. Wait, but M60... M60. Now that we got the range at which you usually die from a grenade, we start using armor. Yeah. And the results have been the same for both tests. This is uh, light armor. No, still died, okay. And this is heavy armor. So from this test we can see that even grenades kill you with light armor, heavy armor at the same distance. What might happen is that if you have uh, maybe 70% of your health, maybe an enemy hits you in the leg with a lower caliber and uh, a grenade at uh, maximum distance which uh, should have killed you, you, maybe you have heavy armor, you remain with 1 HP. But those are situations which rarely happen and most of the time some heavy mobility can make you escape that grenade, escape that explosion and in my opinion is not worth using. So guys, I hope this test helped you to see armor in a new way, the same way it uh, did for me and come to your own conclusion if you find yourself playing over 150 meters and you want to survive one more shot, you can do it. You can wear armor. If you are a stationary sniper, you can use armor. It's always up to you. But for me, if armor remains this way, I'm not going to use it anytime soon. And on the end note, I also want to say that maybe the only weapon on which armor can be effective against is the Uzi, because it's a low caliber with a low rate of fire, so those uh, more shots you can tank with heavy armor might make some difference. And what's surprising to see is the difference between light armor and heavy armor during the alpha and now during release. If you didn't play in the alpha, armor was very very effective. You can tank a lot of shots. It made the difference in many engagements. Low caliber weapons had a really hard time even more so than they have it now. But many people didn't enjoy the time to kill that was at the time and the devs changed it to a, most, a more fast pace that you can see now and in my opinion it was for the good. And if in the future we will see a new title from New World Interactive, which I believe we will see, I think they're gonna ditch the armor system completely, like they ditch the armor piercing rounds from Insurgency because in my opinion armor doesn't fit the style of gameplay we have right now and hopefully they will fit, they will focus on other gadgets and other things. And lastly I want to say thank you to everyone which added me on Steam to help me with the test. If I remember Headache, Dirty Breaks, Tagmeister, Great Grant, Funk, so I might be missing someone but Thank you guys, I will not delete you from my friends and if you want to play with me anytime just ask me in the Steam chat, I'm willing to do so. So guys, thank you again for watching, I hope this video was helpful, go subscribe to Nasty, he's an amazing guy, he helped me with the test and he has some very good gameplay now for Insurgency and Black Squad. And I'm stretching a little bit the video because in the history of my channel I think 
none of my videos reach the 10 minutes mark. This is the first one. So I wanna see what's the difference since many people say the 10 minute mark is important. So guys, thank you again and I'll see you on the next video.